We've got the biggest boomer. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like me. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be that guy. Who's is there the guy a David that frozen Bacon court? outside? What? David oh yes. David yeah, yeah. Is it time for me to go on? Okay. Oh, go get it. Okay. Go get it. Oh, you got a freaking. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Open cards, no coffee, and it's fucking Sunday, Boston. Oh, you swear right away, that's the best. It's Boston, and I got four open micers. Where is this? What's this mic called? What's the deal here? Jocks Cabaret. Jocks Cabaret? Yes. Spelled J O C K S? J A C Q U E S. So it's like a freaking uh, Canadian thing, Jacques, like that in French, right? 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 How long you all been doing comedy? How do you like the scene? Fun. We might have another comedian. It's fun. It's fun. How long yeah. have you been doing comedy? What's your name? A year, a little over a year. Alexis Ristaldi. Awesome. I've been doing it a little over two months. I'm Katie Farrell. Awesome. Uh, three years? Three years? Chris Lido. Awesome. Uh, about seven months. Matt Jarvis. Awesome. I've been doing it over a decade. My name's Will Noonan. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not Will Noonan. I know better. <laughs> Thanks, Will. You were great. <laughs> The only Honda guy who drives a 1990s Mustang. Hopefully he'll show us his raccoon impression. <laughs> He's been married a couple of years. <laughs> Wait, did you do it to the camera? Kick ass. So there's all these cards on the ground. Uh, you can pick a pack. You talk for, for as long or as short as you want. You'll sign one when you're done. You can keep the others if you so desire. So however you want to do it, just freaking it's a free for all. That's uh, who sang that free for all song? Yeah, he's like a freaking right wing guy now. It's a free for all, and they're hard to say. You can bet your life. No, it's I can't remember. Hmm. What'd you get? What'd you pick? Pocahontas. Oh, the Disney film. Yeah, classic. Right. Fucking classic. Right, right, she right. She was a queen. Yeah, four, twelve, fourteen. How yeah. old? Yeah. I also very much wanted to fuck this man when I was younger. Yes. That was the was obsession it? for blondes. And uh, what's his name? Is that the, the? That's John Smith. Okay. That is the most classic. Like name if too. you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. I just littered on the this, floor, but it's not gum? gonna be for long. Oh, you don't have gum. Listen, no, he was Savage. he was a very fuckable man. Listen, in right. real life, not a cool dude. Okay. Right, right, right. And she was a teenager, underage, but you know. That's the time. In this movie, it isn't was, the word teenager. I was like, all about that. Okay. okay. It was all about that when I was younger. You just what do you pick? Oh, you got the I one got with the better legs. Here. Yeah. Uh, so I actually wanted to fuck both Stully and fuck. What's your name? I got way too high for this. Oh, the X Files. Oh, yeah. uh, the two, the two. You're a you buy. You're the each way person. Uh, yeah. At least in this realm of this game. Yeah, right. yeah I mean, are you sure? Um, well, you fuck them both, you said. Yeah, yeah, at the same time. Yeah. Oh, only if there's a threesome opportunity yeah, yeah. with the two of them. And, like, we gotta go find, like, some prehistoric shit, right? Like, we this gotta find weird. some paranormal yeah, stuff it's that weird. just come out of nowhere to right. make it interesting. Yeah. It's so, like, I need uh, to tell how the dinosaur maybe saw me in the video. Yeah, go ahead, Annie. It doesn't matter. First thought right here. This one reads, uh, a quest. Of course I'm reading! Those are good. Those are fun. Hey, a question I would, uh, only ask a very special friend. We can also do it the, individually uh, if the biggest, you know, it's too many people and stuff. Oh, no can I see your titties? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> What'd you have? Just, a. This is fucking... Oh, awesome. Harry and the Hendersons! No one's ever opened a pack of Harry and the Hendersons! Harry has tamed the savage beast. Oh, do you often tame the savage beast? This one says you have the legs of a model or a mannequin. I'm, I'm, that's more like that. Oh, are you tame? I'm taming myself. Right. Oh shit, we've got centuries old murder. Uh, no, I what? got a Civil War card set. I got a John Wilkes Booth. Third person, card. open them. Oh, You're not yeah. an improv person, are you? That's actually a boss. No, that's all the up. Okay, because only, only improvers have picked that so far. Oh, oddly. No, yeah, oh, that's no. But it was just random because it was two. A third one, I would have said that's crazy talk. Go ahead. Yeah, what do you yeah. got? Uh, John, Wilkes. John Wilkes. John Wilkes Booth rookie card. Uh, uh, yes, and let's fucking go. Yeah, I got a slave card. Probably. Oh, I saw that last two on Thursday. This card is not free, so you can't have it. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, What's yeah. It's a slave card. Yeah. It's a slave card. Yeah. What did any? Yes. Oh, you no. were going. Okay, you were, so like you were... some of these side characters, Miko, Miko in the little pug. Jack, Zach and Miko. 
Zach and Miko. No, so okay, in, in Pocahontas, so these little these I'm little not guys. Double dip, anybody but I, a little fun fact about Alex. So having I love that raccoons are like trending yeah, on little again. side little side people. We gotta go in. Miko yeah. was a was a fan yeah. favorite. Oh wow, and that's a punch, that's a punch out. And he'll stand up. See how it's die cut and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. So I want to invoke some maybe oh, Native American person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Ahead of his time. Absolutely. Nice. Ahead of his time. Invoke the dead. I wouldn't mind finding a centuries-old murderer. Like, that would be really fun. Centuries-old murderer? Oh, yeah, of course. that would he make it way that. interesting. And then Mulder, Skelly, and I can all hang out. Like, it'll be a good time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, MSI, Mulder, Skelly, and I. Oh, should I sign this? What's happening? Oh, yeah, she's got the oh, marker. I've got a marker. Go ahead. Do you know, so this is a TV show, Al, from the 80s. Yeah. Um, do you know about the dad on ALF? I don't. So the guy who played the dad on ALF, I don't know, maybe like seven, eight, ten years ago, uh, he got outed or, you know, he got caught on film smoking crack. Oh, wow. Uh, and getting like... Uh, so did the uh, head of uh, DC. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he ran again and won. And uh, having I think. Uh, crazy, like, uh, ghetto crack sex to do it, so, uh... Oh, but at least he wasn't doing anything to the children. If he's doing it, it's consensual with other adults, that's whatever, why, that's more power to you. That's why I yeah, brought yeah. him up. Alfred, the guy who did the puppet was a stand-up comedian, oddly. But he was the one at the time who didn't get a show where they showed his face. He was like a puppet, and he wrote the dumbest little freaking one-liner dumb yeah, things. Yeah, but he was a stand-up. Midnight, the guy who wrote it, you know about him, the guy was a chunky, they made a movie, uh, what's his name? Ben Stiller played him. Oh, Carmen of Midnight. It's a really good movie. It was the guy who wrote Alf. Oh, that yeah, yeah. that stand-up comic. Yeah, he had. Wow. Uh, he made like thirteen hundred dollars a week writing for Alf, and he spent two thousand dollars a week on heroin. So, well, who doesn't that, do that? that awesome. Does, that Thank you. What work. was your name again? Chris Leadham. Chris Leadham. Can't wait to hear your set tonight. Thanks. I'm Katie Farrell. Katie Farrell. Can't wait to hear your set tonight. Alexis Cristaldi. This is what my mom oh. thinks that I look like when she suggests Botox to me at 23 years old. This is what I picture she thinks that I look like, awesome. is this old willow tree. I love the faces though in the tree. Oh I've seen a couple God. of those cars, they're pretty neat looking. The magic in this, when I was a child, this is what I wanted it's to like, I remember like there was a yeah. little willow tree in my front yard and I, I was under that thing playing make pretend all the time. Under the willow tree, under I don't know willow what that means. Hey. Awesome, there you go. thank you so much. Yeah, can't, wait, oh, can't wait to see your set Hold tonight. On, can't wait to see well. your set tonight. Thanks, man. I want to sign and give it back to you. Take that back. Yeah. Oh, sorry, back. sorry. You can keep the stuff if you so desire. All right. Thanks. Man. Yeah. I'll give you a little thing later to freaking to get you the, the thing. But I'm so far ahead. This will go up in like, I mean, July now as far as the freaking thing goes, you know? But at least I got you all in one like, thing because it's not five individuals. Then that's freaking, I drop one every three days. So that's then cool. that would have been freaking like two weeks just for like you. Edit together. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, so Dave. Is this your first time here? It is my first time here. First time here at Jack's Gallery. So give them a, a very warm welcome, all eight of you. Put your hands for David Duncan. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, I just, someone told me it was going to be bright. Uh, all I can think of, uh, what was that, the Under the Sea dance? Uh, Marvin, come! My cousin Marvin Barry, it's the sound you wanted to hear! You know that? Remember that? Something? Uh, what was that? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna start with something clean. So I don't know you guys, or girls, or. I'm sorry to say, I don't mind pedophiles. Actually, I kind of like them but only when they're being used on my feet. It's a clean pedophile joke, come on. There's been a lot of levels there, man. A lot of levels. Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Ladies, gentlemen, my five minutes might be too meta for this young crowd. 
I mean Metamucil. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. This one's new. They're all new to you. This one's new. I don't know if you pay attention to the news or not, but I'm starting to think helicopters are dangerous. That one's not deep. Well, depends how they crash. I'm not going to do another news joke. I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do guess ampersand. No college grads tonight? It's fair. Sure. I just touched that with my mouth. I'm a little scared of that. The more I learn about the church, the more I think they should change the Lord's Prayer. Shouldn't it end either ah boys or young men? <laughs> what a word play tonight. Uh, yeah, you won't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I Yeah. Okay, there's more. That's too dirty. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> okay. They say the band playing music while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about today's entertainers. We're going down. It doesn't really have to be funny, it's really... <sighs> you guys might not, some of you might not know these terms, I don't know. Have you noticed older guys have a man cave, while younger guys have a goon room? Whatever the name, similar things happen in both. My wife and I got a new dog. This one, it's like, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the, it to the room to try to get this one, okay? My wife and I got a new dog. She likes to hide so I can't find her. When I call, she doesn't come. I think it might be the name we chose. Perhaps we shouldn't have called her. Anyone? What should we not have called the dog? Perhaps we shouldn't have called her. G-Spot. Come on. That was easy. That was easy. You could have all got that. Should have all gotten it. Good <laughs> enough. Now I don't get cultural appropriation, or maybe I do. As a honky, I cannot wear my hair in cornrows. Fair enough, I guess. But a Mexican man can make me a meal of Americanized Chinese food. My daughter hates this next line. So you can cook it, but don't look it. That's gay. Meaning happy. Now, due to the earrings, that's pirate culture. Stop stealing it. The first time, true fact, a pirate sailed across the equator, they pierced an ear. And when they sailed back across, they pierced the other. It really was a rite of passage. Now, I'm not sure how many pierced young men these days have circumnavigated the globe with their Jolly Rogers flapping about the wind. But whenever I ask those same young men about anything south of the equator, they think I'll be an old Kevin Spacey, not Blackbeard. I don't know if my time's up or I don't know. Huh? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're a great host. You're a great host. Let's give it up for David. So we just have like two more.